So I'm about to show you guys a combination that you have probably never seen before. Oh man, that is a huge, get this dude. This dude is massive. Get this dude. What? Jeez. Look at this thing. They're always gonna swim by. And marijuana's? He's grabbing. Look at him. He's grabbing the tails, messing around with them. Aloha, my ohana. It is everyone's favorite Hawaiian fish keeper, Bradamel. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha. Now, this is part two of the last video I just put out where I went over to Sequest in Folsom, California. You guys got to check it out. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up above. Click that card, get caught up, and then come back to this video, and then you'll enjoy part two even better. Now, I want to say part two is maybe a little bit better than part one. I got some crazy, insane footage for you guys. But before we get back to Folsom, California at Sequest, I just want to give you guys a heads up if you're new to the channel here. My name is Bradamel. I have two ponds and 12 aquariums. Now, if you guys want to see all my aquariums and all my ponds and fish, I'll leave another card up above. Click that card. I do a video on every fish and aquarium that I have here at the nest, which this is what I call my home, the nest. So let's get back over to Sequest in Folsom, California for part two. Stay tuned, watch it all the way through. You're gonna love every single second of this video. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, all right, so we are back with part two. Let's check out the rest of Sequest in Folsom, California. Now we're moving into some fish that I absolutely love. Let me turn the camera around. Wow, ginormous, beautiful koi. Oh man, and there's a huge albino. Looks like a channel catfish in there. Let's get a closer look. God, look at this dude. Look at this dude. This dude is massive. He's actually sucking in all this koi food that's up here. I think this is an albino channel catfish. Well, actually, there's quite a bit of them in here. Oh wow, there's more channel catfish in here than there are koi. You can see the koi. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly koi, that all white. Platinum butterfly koi. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at this dude. Onk, 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 onk. Hey, babies. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> catfish and koi. Koi and catfish. Massive catfish along with massive koi. The next koi or catfish that comes up here. We're gonna give them a little petty pet, okay? Oh, hey, what's up? The ducks are in the pond. Ah, oh, they probably wanna eat some food. They're gonna eat all the koi fish food. Oh, it looks like they don't like it though. Look at this mallard right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful koi and catfish pond. Uh oh, here comes one right here. Here comes one right here. Uh oh, here he comes. Ooh. Oh yeah, we touched his tail. <laughs> I had to touch the albino channel. I'm pretty sure they are channel catfish, but then again, I'm not sure. So leave a comment down below if you're a catfish expert. All right, Ohana, so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm like in fish heaven right now. This beautiful koi pond slash catfish pond. I can sit here forever, but uh, there's so much more to take a look at. So on to the next. Uh, it looks like a reptile exhibit in here. Check out this cicada tortoise. Oh, beautiful. Look at this dude. He's super active. He's probably, I'm gonna take a guess at his age and then I'm gonna ask the employee, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this tortoise by looking at his features okay okay i got a good look at him i'm gonna say he's probably mm, i'm gonna go with uh 15 years old okay so i was way off i said 15 years he's between 20 and 25. it's so weird to see these guys they look so old but he's like a juvenile <laughs> well to all my reptile junkies out there they do have reptiles here this beautiful i mean i think it's an albino python just a beautiful snake or i'm sorry constrictor i don't know what this is 
Not sure. Down below in the comments, my reptile guys and gals, please let me know what this snake is. Take a look at him. OM Jeezy. Look at this huge Burmese python. And I don't even know how big this baby is. But they can get up to around 18 feet. Yeah, 18 feet. That is huge. Check out this monitor. This is a giant, I don't even know if it's a Tegu or Tegu, how you would pronounce it, but beautiful monitor. Look at this dude. I mean, look at the sides of its mouth or the sides of its face, its cheeks. I believe that is the jaws, the jaw muscle, if you will. This dude probably has a powerful, powerful bite. It'll, it'll eat nearly anything they can fit in their mouth. So yeah, you can already tell this dude is super healthy. He's massive too. They live for about 15 to 20 years in the wild and can grow up to five feet long. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, really guys? A little armadillo? I mean, <laughs> look at this dude. What? Look at this dude, the way he's walking. He like, it's like he's gliding across the dirt. Look at this. <laughs> I want to pick him up so bad. Come here. Come here. I want to touch his shell. I got to touch his shell. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at the armadillo. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even sure I can do this, guys but I just had to touch the armadillo. It's Bugsy? Bugsy, oh look at that. <laughs> that is super wild. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she was talking about how the Brazilians back in the day used to use that type of armadillo as a soccer ball to play sports with. That's nuts, that's nuts. I couldn't imagine kicking that thing around. You see this beautiful cicada tortoise that's just kind of roaming freely. It's pretty neat. They also have a huge monitor too here that's roaming freely. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's, it's totally fake, guys. I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of flinched when I first saw it because it looks so real. Now, if this thing jumped or moved its paw or its arm, leg, I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably scream like a girl, just so you know. But anyways, look at that thing. And that's a real lifelike size, just so you know. Whoa, look at this massive saltwater tank. Whoa, what kind of shark is that? Is that a, is that a black tip? I think it's a reef shark. Yeah, black tip reef shark. You can tell by the black tip on its dorsal fin. It's a nice size shark. I would say he's probably about three and a half feet maybe. Yeah three and a half feet close to four feet but look at this massive moray eel look at that huge oh look it there's a couple other eels here too as well the cool thing about sharks is they're always gonna swim by they have to always remain swimming in order to breathe super cool that is the Hawaiian Amakua Beautiful. So I'm about to show you guys a combination that you have probably never seen before. And this is awesome. I'm talking about a freshwater otter and arowanas too. Check it out. This has got to be the most entertaining. Oh my gosh. This dude is jumping on the arowana's back. Dude, look at this freshwater otter. Look at him. He's actually, he's playing with the arowanas and the arowanas don't do anything. You tell me. Tell me you guys have never seen, look, look at him. He's grabbing, look at him. He's grabbing the tails, messing around with them. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, what's up, bud? Look at this dude jumping on the arowanas, playing with their tails, nipping at them. The arowanas are like, get this dude away from me. Dude, <laughs> Mr. Aloha over there, look at him taking a breath and then he's gonna dive back in the water with the arowanas
Look it, look it, look it. The arowanas don't even mess with them. Have you ever seen a freshwater otter and a bunch of arowanas in an aquarium together? Well, you are here. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't even see this guy. Where'd this guy come from? There's two freshwater otters. <laughs> That's so cool. Man, these dudes are rascals. I bet you the arowanas hate, hate this guy. He had something in his hand. <laughs> Dude, it cracks me up how they mess with the arowanas, man. Look at, look at, he's got something in his hand, like a toy or something. It's like they get off on jumping on their backs or messing with the fish. Look at them. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, these are big arowanas, too. They're not small. These are like their little toy. They're little toy buddies. Look at them, they just pinned the arowana in the corner. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at them, they use their little hands and claws to mess with the tails of the arowanas. Look at them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I can sit here and video these guys all day. You know these arowanas are stressed. They're either A, stressed, or B, just used to these clowns. That's why you gotta love freshwater otters. <laughs> All right, my Ohana, I know for a fact, I'm guaranteeing this 100% that you guys have never seen a freshwater otter swimming with huge arowanas. And then the freshwater otter is like playing with their tails and just being so annoying to the arowanas. Super crazy footage. I'm so happy I came here. Man, I just can't get enough of this place. Um, I'm about to show you this beautiful community. Well, kind of community. Saltwater Aquarium. Man, this thing is massive. Look at this thing. This is huge. Oh, look at they have like some lettuce in this capsule here. It's like a feeding dome. Oh, look at, what is that? Is that the Hawaii State fish? The humuhumu nuku nuku apua'a? If you don't know how to say it, let me uh, give you Bugs Bunny. He'll tell you how it's pronounced. Hawaii State fish. One of the fish that I want. That's for sure. If I get a saltwater tank, mark my words, I'm gonna get a humuhumu nuku nuku apua'a. Let me just take a step back and look at the scape. Look at the skeleton in there. <laughs> it's like an old, like, pirate, like, shipyard. You know what I mean? Look at, see that pole? It kind of sticks out of the water, and you got like a big sail that's up there. This pelican right here. Ooh, is that a panther grouper? Ooh, look at that, huh? Ooh, I forget the name of this fish here. But those are the fish that attach themselves to sharks. Uh, massive big fish too as well. Ah, I forget the name of it. Let's see if it's gonna attach itself to this glass right here. They're super cool. As you can see the top of their head kind of has like this pad, like a suction pad, I think. I don't even know how it sticks um, on the top of its head, but it almost looks like it's swimming upside down. Let's see if it attaches itself right here. Look at him, look at him, look at him. There he goes. He's attached. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I called it. Look it. Pretty cool, right? He attached himself right in front of us. Yeah, look at the bottom of this thing. I don't even know how this thing grips to the glass or other fish. They just attach themselves, especially sharks. You see them a lot on sharks. Oh, this is super cool. An aquarium full of lionfish. Look, I got one, two, three. Look at these big boys back here. Four, 
five. Yeah. An aquarium full of beautiful lionfish. Oh, check out this display. This is beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, man, it's almost like sandpaper. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. And he's just cruising around. Totally feel like sandpaper. And especially the little guy's a little friendly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's super cool. So the top of their dorsal fin has that little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have a barb, just like a stingray, that they can actually, uh, you know, poke out at you. So be careful. And, uh, yeah, these are horn sharks. Super cool. I was informed that they clip the barb, so they make them super kid-friendly, adult-friendly, as you can see. Right there's the barb. I don't know if you can see it right there, that little white tip. Pretty cool. Check out this aquarium. Look at, got some baby stingrays that were, oh, look at all the shark eggs. Woo, are there any baby sharks in here? Any baby sharks? There's gotta be. I see some empty eggs. Oh yeah, look at, look at in the back. I don't know if you guys can see them. Uh, there's some baby sharks that actually hatched. Look at. Here he comes. Come out in the light, buddy. Come out in the light, Carol Ann. Run to the light, Carol Ann. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, there's quite a few baby sharks. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, look at the little baby. I think this is a sh uh, shoe horse, I think, or something. I forget the name of this. A sh shoe crab or sh something like that. Look at him scooting along the sand so weird here's another one right here ah, what are these called guys help me out I'm drawing a blank I forget it's some type of crab shoe horse crab or something like that <laughs> very cool baby stingrays baby sharks they go hand in hand in a tank <laughs> I gotta know how many of you guys would do this come enjoy a very fishy pedicure for $14.95 or seven tokens. Have you guys ever seen the pedicure fish? Here they are. You sit up here, you put your feet in here and let these fish pick on the dead skin of your feet. And uh, right now your boy can use a fish pedicure. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. Oh man, look at that. They're all in here ready to eat your feet. I heard it just tickles. They don't have teeth or anything like that. They just nibble on the dead skin that's on your feet, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Man. The f Look at Dr. Fish Spa. Maybe if this video gets 300 likes, your boy will come back and get a fish pedicure for you guys on camera. Yeah. So, uh... We're on to the next exhibit, with it, which is a huge saltwater aquarium. Let's check it out. Whoa, look at this massive fish tank. Oh, that looks like, uh, that's a bamboo shark with, um, I don't know if that's a sand shark or not, but I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're doing the little, you know what I'm saying? Look at the sharks. Now, just so you know, this massive aquarium let me step up here you see how big this is it goes way out over there this is actually a swim tank so you can snorkel in this huge aquarium but it's closed how cool would it be to come back here and pay the money i think it's a little extra charge of course and snorkel with the sharks snorkel Bring the underwater camera and get some shots. That would be sick, right? Massive, massive aquarium. So big. Stay tuned, guys. That's why it's good to subscribe to the channel. You don't know what your boy's going to pull out. I might just come here one day and say, hey, we're going to snorkel with the sharks. She's actually hand feeding this thing right Yeah. She's fearless. Look at that, right? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Oh, check out this little upper level here. 
Wow, I think these are bat rays. I don't know if those are the offspring or what, but these are super cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's got like, it's like a tank in a tank. Look at You can't really see it, but it's actually sealed in all the way around. Pretty cool. It looks like the variety are bat rays, and it looks like maybe some cow nose rays, and a southern ray too that are in here, pretty cool. Hey, look at the little porcupine puffer, came over here to say hello. What's up, bud? <laughs> this massive aquarium, and he comes over here to say hi. Look at the rays, the sharks. There's Mr. Shark, swimming by. Oh, there, there's, there's the look downs, look at him. Obviously, the look downs because uh, it looks like they're looking down. You can't have an aquarium or saltwater display gallery without having a huge, huge megalodon mouth. It's a big mouth. I am actually under the tank right now, surrounded by four walls of aquarium glass. I don't know if you guys can hear the echo or not, but I apologize. And this is super sick. Look at. I'm just sitting in here as the sharks swim by. <laughs> this is super cool. You got fish that are swimming by. It's like I'm actually underwater with the fish. Oh, this place was awesome. This is the actual last attraction, last aquarium of Sequest Tour. Now, down below, please, guys, comment. Let me know what you guys think about Sequest in Folsom, California. Family oriented, bring the kids down. It actually only cost me $10. I went online, searched up discount coupons for Sequest in Folsom, and managed to find a $10 ticket. So I bought it, $10, and you see exactly what you do here at Sequest. There's everything. And I think I wanna come back, okay? I wanna come back. I wanna go snorkeling in this aquarium right here behind me. That's one. I actually want to maybe feed and mess with oh check this out look at oh, swimming right above me some rays there's a bunch of things i want to do here that i didn't get to do and we will come back maybe get a fish pedicure too as well and um feed the sloth we have to feed the sloth other than that though i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share i will see you guys on the next video hey much love and aloha.